My name is Kevin and I'm from We Are Memory Keepers. We're here with archivers today to help introduce you to the Big Bite Crocodile and its, its uh, original counterpart, the regular Crocodile tool. The Big Bite Crocodile is a tool which was designed based on the original Crocodile. This tool um, is, is basically a hole punch and eyelet setter all in one. And all of the functions of this tool are incorporated into the larger tool, the larger Big Bite tool. So this is the Big Bite tool. I want to show you some of the functions that you can see, um, some of the features that are available on this tool, um, easy to see. First of all, this ruler has three different settings. It has a 1 8 inch hole setting. It has a setting portion for actually compressing the eyelet or the grommet and also the 3 16 inch hole setting. So all the rulers are on at different lengths because each of those, you can see down here, happens at three different areas. The 3 16 inch hole, the 1 8 inch hole, and the compression portion. So each of those has three different rulers that you can use in order to, to help you guide where your placement of your product is. On the top we have the function selector. You can see in this small window here, it shows exactly what it is that we're selecting. All the way forward is our setting portion, and it shows an image of an eyelet there. That helps us know exactly that we're, that we're going to be using the compression portion of the tool. By pushing this backwards, this small window then shows the 1 8 inch hole setting. And the last click all the way back is the 3 16 inch hole setting. So when you're punching a 3 16 inch hole, you need to have this all the way back, a 1 8 inch hole to in the middle, and all the way forward gives you your compression or your setting function. Each of these blocks you'll notice on the top and the bottom pull out and rotate around to give you different uh, capabilities as far as compressing or, or setting eyelets and grommets. The first block on the top is the A block. That's used for large eyelets. And remember, the spring-loaded pin goes down into the top of the eyelet. The B block is used for flat or flat rounded surfaces without a hole in the middle. The C block is used for 1 8 inch size eyelets, and again, this is a spring-loaded pin that goes down into the top of the eyelet. And the D block is a large flare which is used for grommets to flare out the bottom side of the grommets. On the bottom, we have the number 1 block, which is the largest flare that we have, the number 2 block, which is a medium sized flare and the number three block, which is the smallest flare that's available on this tool. The number four block is used for grommet setting, where you put the base or, or the top of the grommet upside down on this black plastic ring. And then you basically need to take, choose your selection, and put those items, click them back down or up into the socket where they came out of to make sure that they're exactly in place. The Big Bite Crocodile is a great tool for punching through chipboard, tin, acrylic, plastic, leather. It actually punched through a lot of different substrates and so we encourage you to try a lot of different things. Let me show you, this works very similar to the original Crocodile, only it gives you a full six inch depth. This is a piece of heavyweight chipboard and I slide that into place and you can see I can compress and get a really nice hole punched very easily without much pressure at all right there in that piece of chipboard. What we're going to do now is help you put together, do a little project by setting some eyelets or some grommets and show you exactly how that's, that works with the crocodile tool. First of all, we take the 12 by 12 paper and as you can see, it will slide all the way in to the tool and this, that shows that you can, you can punch anywhere on a 12 by 12 page. In order to set an eyelet, first thing I need to do is punch a hole. So I'm going to move the function selector on the top to the, all the way to the back. Put this exactly where I want to, to place my hole. I can actually set my guide on the back to the appropriate place if I want to set this at five inches. Compress the tool and punch the hole. Again, you just go ahead and put the eyelet down into the hole. Make sure your function selector is all the way forward and that the, that the blocks are appropriately placed in the A and the 1 setting. Take the paper with the eyelet, slide it into place, and compress. And that sets your eyelet right in the middle of a 12 by 12 page. Now to set a grommet, a grommet works upside down, so we need to turn the blocks 
to the D and the 4 setting. The D has the large flares on the top, and the 4 hold, is what holds the grommet in place upside down. Turn your paper upside down. Make sure that you're all the way forward to the, the compression setting and compress. And you can see it flares out the little stars on the back of the grommet. And on the front, you can see it's set perfectly in that page. Just as a side note, you can also take off the feet on the bottom of your crocodile two big bite to make sure that so that it stores flat. This is done by just simply pulling back on the feet and removing them. Once you, if you want to put them back into place, they slide back into place very easily and then your tool can become, once again, a desktop tool. We hope you enjoyed this demo on the Cropodile 2 Big Bite. Run into your local archiver store to get your hands on the Cropodile 2 Big Bite today and let your creative expressions go to the max.